Welcome to Infigyan, my dear friends, in this very, very powerful video of algebraic challenging equations. In this series, we'll be solving one very captivating and interesting exponential equation today. Equation is 5 power x times x factorial plus 1 equal to 1 over 5 power x factorial minus x cube. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. Then we will talk about recursive formula and then we will apply it to get the solution of the equation. So what is domain of this equation? x factorial is involved. So we can consider x should be greater than or equal to 0 where x belongs to integer. This is what we know. Now for RHS, I can see denominator is having same base. So I will use the property of exponent, which is, this is point number one. Point number two is one over a raised to the power n, that exponent property will give us minus n. So I can write our equation as five power x times x factorial plus one equal to 5 power using this identity or property. I can write x cube minus x factorial. Now bases are same. I will equate both the exponents. What I will write after that, that would be x times x factorial plus 1. It must be equal to x cube minus x factorial. Let's expand LHS. So I will write x times x factorial plus x equal to x cube minus x factorial. Now I will take away minus x or take away x from both sides. So I will shuffle or rearrange the terms. I can write x times x factorial plus x factorial equal to x cube minus x. Let me take x factorial common. So in bracket I will have x plus 1. And right hand side if I will take x common, then in bracket there will be x square minus 1. Now I will use identities from algebra. That is difference of two squares that is our identity number 3 that is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So here I will write right hand side would be x minus 1 or x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now come to LHS. LHS we are having x factorial times x plus 1. So x factorial we will use recursive formula. What is recursive formula? If we are having n factorial, then we can write n times n minus 1 factorial. Or if it is required, then we can write n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial and so on as per our need. So our equation we can write x times x minus 1 factorial times x plus 1 equal to x times x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now you can see which term we can cancel. So x we can cancel from both sides. x plus 1 we can cancel from both sides. But condition is x should not be equal to 0 and x should not be equal to negative 1. Okay, because we have cancelled both sides, so it should not be the solution of the equation. So if you will check this case, x cannot be equal to minus 1. x cannot possible because x factorial is involved. Now only need to check x 0. Let me write here what is happening when x is 0. So I will write left hand side 5 power 0 times 0 factorial plus 1 equal to 1 over 5 power 0 factorial minus 0 cube. Okay. 5 power 0 times something. So 5 power 0 equal to 1 over 5 power 0 factorial is 1. So I will write here 1. 
5 power 0 is 1 and right hand side is 1 over 5. So that means it is not equal to each other, means both sides are not same. So x is not solution of the equation. So x cannot be 0. So we can cancel from both sides. What is left now? x minus 1 factorial equal to x minus 1. Let me write here. Equal to x minus 1. Now one conclusion will come. That is left hand side we have got x minus 1 factorial. That means x should be greater than or equal to 1. This is one condition. And second thing is if you will presume something it is like n factorial equal to n. So how many factorials do you know where factorial is equal to the number? That number's factorial is equal to the number itself. So if you will see only 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2. Only these two numbers are there in the list. Otherwise 3 factorial is 6, 4 factorial is 24, 5 factorial is 120, 6 factorial is 720, and one more thing, 0 factorial is 1. So only these two values of factorial will satisfy the equation. This equation or the original one. So what I will do, only two possibilities are there. So I will put x minus 1 equal to 1 or I can put x minus 1 equal to 2 from here. Because 1 factorial is 1, 2 factorial is 2 only. So from here I can conclude it is 1 plus 1, 2. And from here I can conclude it is 1 plus 2, 3. So for this given exponential equation, we have two solutions, x equal to 2 and 3. Let's verify. So let me write here verification. I will write x equal to 2. Let us put the value of x in the equation. So 2 times 2 factorial plus 1 equal to 1 over 5 power 2 factorial minus 2 q. Let's put the value and check. 2 factorial is 2. So I will write 5 power 2 times 2 plus 1, 3 equal to 1 over 5 power 2 factorial is 2, 2 minus 8. So 2 minus 8 is minus 6. So it is true. 5 power 6 is equal to 5 power 6 which is true. So this value is true. Now second value I will put and check for x is equal to 3. 5 power 3 times 3 factorial. Let me write one time. 3 factorial plus 1 equal to 1 over 5 power 3 factorial minus 3 cube. 3 factorial is 6. 6 plus 1 7. 5 power 3 times 7 equal to 1 over 5 power 3 factorial is 6 minus 27. So 1 over 5 power negative 21. It will come to the numerator 21. 21. It is also true. So this value is also true. So our ultimate solution is x is equal to 2 and 3. I hope you like this video. This will be somewhere meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck.